Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nini. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing review to Glamnetic Lashes. I am super stoked for today's video because I've been meaning to try these for some time now. I feel like I see them everywhere, all over social media and in stores. I'm just like, I need to try them out. But you know what, folks? Today is the day that we're gonna do it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's see. So, Apart from Glamnetic Lashes, they also do nails. Ooh, looks like it got a little smashed inside of the packaging, but here are the nails that I was sent. And this set is called I Do, which is funny because I actually just got married. All right, so the package came with the eyeliner, which is like a felt tip pen. Um, here's the first set of lashes. Um, this one's called, the, ooh, this one is called Verified, and they look like this. And you'll be able to see this better when I take it out the packaging. And then, Let's see here. We're definitely gonna need to read the instructions before we attempt to apply these on. And any tips that it may have, it actually says application tips on the back. And the second pair of lashes that came with it is the XOXO, which looks like this. And my verified is a lot more glamorous. XOXO is a little bit more like on the everyday side. I like a good, I like a couple of options, so that's good. Nothing else inside of here. Thank you, Glamnetic, for partnering with me for this video. I'm excited. So, um, I do want to go over the application tips because, um, you know, it's magnetic lashes. It's not your typical, like, glue strip lashes and stuff like that. One thing, honestly, I do get a little picky about when it comes to strip lashes specifically is um, applying the lash glue. Because, like, you know, just anything, you just never know. Like, the glue just... One little mess up, the glue gets everywhere, and that's, there goes your look. There goes all of the time that you spent working on your makeup, which could be a little bit frustrating. So I'm hoping that that could just go away for the most part. I mean, granted, I'm sure I still need to be super, super careful, but at least I'm not working with something that's sticky. At least I don't imagine that this is super sticky. So we're going to find out. All right, let's get back to the application tips. So in this box, um, it actually came with the XOXO pack, but on the back of it, it also comes with the application tips that I mentioned earlier um, so it says to cut down the magnetic lash down to fit the eye width that's kind of something you got to do with any of your falsies regardless so I mean if, if it doesn't typically fit your eyes so I'm quite used to that apply the magnetic liner on the lash line and adhere lashes making sure that the magnets make a connection with their magnetic liner Two, for an extra hold at the inner corner and the outer corner you may use the anchors so it comes with anchors Hmm. Must be connected to it. We're gonna see in a second. Hold an hold an anchor under your natural lash near the lash magnet. It will snap into place, sandwiching your natural lashes together. All right. So I think for today, for right now, I want to start off with the more dramatic look. It's a pretty little boxer that comes in. Just keep the box, and you could slide them right back in there. So right now I'm not wearing any sort of mascara or anything like that. I literally just have like a full face of like foundation and whatnot. All right, so here is how the lashes look. And it actually says some little, little letters, anchors included. I couldn't see that with the wrapper on, but at least we know the anchors are there. Um, okay. So it also has like a little like adhesive in there so that the lashes just snap right back on inside of there. Good to know. Alrighty. So for the liner, I want to, I definitely want to go a little at a time because, you know, it's just, it's easier that way in terms of like not making mistakes. And regardless, when I am applying regular liner, I typically go a little at a time. I don't do too, too much because I don't like too thick of a liner. Here is how the pen looks. It's like not too, too thin, but not too thick either. All right, so without further ado, let's apply. So I'm just gonna go a little at a time. It applies really easy, actually. That applies on really easy. I'm actually really surprised. Like, not that I anticipated it to be difficult. I don't really know what I expected, but it's it's pretty easy. Hmm. 
No complaints so far. That was like super easy to glide on there. All right, so now let's put these lashes on. So I just took off the acre. I don't know if you can see it. It's super, super tiny, but um, I just took off the acre and I'm just gonna pop that lash on. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to dry fast, but it feels like it is, it feels like it's already dry. And I didn't really take that long to put on the liner because it was so easy to apply it. Oh, and like that, just like that, we're done. All right, let's remove the acre off of this one. All right, to complete the look, we're just gonna put a little bottom mascara. All right, do we really need the acre? Like, they feel like they're pretty snug on there, but whatever let's give it a shot anyway perfect okay so the acre goes on pretty easy and there we have it there are our lashes you know um i think i could do without the acre hmm i feel like i could feel the acre and then we could try to get this lash back on here now that i had mascara on okay um yeah i think i could do without the acre it just felt like it was weighing my eye down um and like, and honestly, it feels pretty snug on there anyway. All right, so first impressions. I like how these look. These are a go for me. They're a win. Like they were super easy to apply on and it's not that I anticipated it to be super difficult. I just didn't know what to expect because this is my first time doing them. And that's another thing that I wanna point out. These are super beginner friendly. Like I feel like with falsies, like you really gotta practice a couple times to get super good at it. But with these, it was just like an easy pop on, pop off. Again, no mess, no nothing. Like. I really like these. I like how dull like my eyes look right now with this um with this specific pair. Again, this was the verified, this was the verified one. The only thing I would say for me is I could do without the acres. That's just personally for me, but honestly, like the way these feel like snug on there, like I'm not like too concerned that the acre is not there. That's just me. Um, but without further ado, let's move on to the next pair. We have the XOXO lash, and I want to try these out. These seem more for like an everyday look. I'm just gonna remove these really quickly. Did it take off any? All right, so it took off just a little bit, so I am gonna touch up my liner before I put on the next pair. So now that the liner is fresh again, we have our XOXO pair, which is again, more of like an everyday pair to me, but still add a little bit of drama, a little bit of emphasis. I'm just going to take off those anchors and apply them. I'm just going to use my mirror one more time. All right, so first impressions with the XOXO pack is that, um, well, they're super lightweight. I like that. Um, and I would say that they're perfect for like, you know, maybe work or something. Um, I don't know that I would recommend it necessarily if you have really, really long lashes. I feel as though they almost match my lashes. Maybe they're just a tiny, tiny bit longer. I, I do actually have pretty long lashes, but I still, I'd be extra, I want more. So, um, I mean, I like them. As I mentioned before, they're lightweight. They're perfect for like the everyday, but I typically want like a little bit more pizzazz, even for like a simple look or like a classic look. I would still want a little bit more emphasis. These, I think, I, I, and I mentioned this already, these kind of are pretty, pretty close to what my natural lashes and length actually are already, but they do make my eyes still pop more, which is nice. So, um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I put back on the verified lashes because I was having a lot more fun with them, but um, we need to try out the nail kits. Let's see. All right, so the nail kit comes with the nails, obviously. And then it also comes with an alcohol pad, a nail filer, a stick. So, all right, let's see what we got going on here. All right, so it says, remove any applied nail polish and wash and dry hands. Push back cuticles using the cuticles, uh, using the cuticle stick. That's the stick that we mentioned earlier. And uh, select sizes that are best suited for your natural nails. Remove any excess glue. 
Hey, baby. I'm gonna go wash my hands again so it's just all fresh. I'll be right back. All right, so. All right, so I'm just gonna take the wrapper off of this glue. Ah, come on. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the nails is I'm just gonna apply them and like, as I apply them, I'll kind of like, you know, stop and show them to y'all a couple times and then show you the finished look. All right, got the glue open. And I think I'm gonna start with my thumb. But before I do that, we wanna make sure that we're starting off with like a clean base. I'm gonna take that alcohol wipe that they provided me with. Even though I just washed my hands and I'm just gonna just go over all of my nails real fast just to be absolutely positively squeaky clean. Now I'm gonna go in with that stick that they sent me and just push back my cuticles. My cuticles are already, for the most part, semi pushed back, but again, just to be absolutely sure, because I want this application to be seamless. I don't want to have to go back and like redo anything, if you know what I'm saying. We want to do it all right the first time. No shortcuts. Now I'm just going to grab my nails that they sent me. I'm going to hold them up, but I don't want them to fall out the case. But basically, I'm just going to line them up with my nails and see which ones fit best. They did give me this extra pack. It feels like it's really snug on there. Let's move on to the next. I'm on the last pinky now. And voila! Not bad. I really like how these look. My goodness, they're so glamorous. I really like how they look with my ring. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap up this video. My overall review of all of the products, a complete thumbs up. As I mentioned before, no mess, super easy to apply, beginner friendly. And these nails, come on, like these nails. Ah, I'm living for it. Like I said, I need somewhere to go tonight. <laughs> But anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. And hit that subscribe button for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Until next time, bye friends.